welcome to The Long Reviewer. My name is Will, where I do tech unboxing, tech reviews, and tech tutorials. In today's episode, I am reviewing the Ankmax USB-C 3.1 Thunderbolt Compatible NVMe Hard Drive Enclosure. I'm going to review the overall construction and quality of the build. I'm also going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial how to install an NVMe hard drive in it. And I'm also going to review some of the read-write speeds of the hard drive enclosure. As you're watching the video and you find it helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up, like the video, and consider subscribing to my channel for some of the content. If you've been watching my videos, and hopefully you are, you know that I've been traveling across the prairies, visiting different grain elevators to take pictures and videos for e-learning curriculum development. I'm very fortunate to have a professional career that kind of blends over into my YouTube hobby. And one of the things I've learned to do is when I get back to the hotel at night, is to back up all of my footage onto an NVMe hard drive enclosure. And this is a great enclosure because it's nice and small, it's lightweight, and it's robust because it has no mechanical moving parts. It's all using an NVMe hard drive. I decided to use a Samsung 500 gigabyte SSD 980 NVMe M.2 drive with a read speed of 3500 megabytes per second. So what I got from Ankmax is a NVMe SATA SSD enclosure USB-C up to 10 gigabytes per second and NVMe SATA and it's plug and play. All right, let's get this unboxed. The first thing we have is the Samsung SSD 980 NVMe.2 drive. As you can see, it's just a Samsung branded drive. Nothing too special about it. All right, the only accessory that comes in the box is the USB-C to USB-C cable, which should allow a transfer speed of 10 gigabytes per second. And then here is the actual physical unit of the Ankmax hard drive enclosure. It's pretty small and it's form fitting, which is nice. It's hard plastic and it doesn't flex or bend too easily, which means I don't have any issues throwing it into a bag. Seems robust. It's nice. It has some arrows to tell you how to open it up. It's very nice and easy to snap open. As you can see from the four factor, it's nice and thin. Let's take a closer look at the circuit board here. It's pretty standard. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna plug in my Samsung 980 NVMe drive. And it's pretty self-explanatory on how to install it. Just line up the pins, slot it in. And this is a toolless installation, which I really appreciate. There's a rubber screw or rubber stopper that you just put that in place. And I'm always leery about these rubber stoppers and not using a physical screw to put it in because I'm not sure how well it actually secures in place. Here you can see I'm kind of shaking it around, flipping it upside down, and it still stayed in place and the rubber stopper didn't come out. So it gives you some more confidence that it will stay in place. All right, so now that the NVMe drive is secured in place, I'm going to put the cover back on. And I actually, you can see me struggling here trying to put it back on. You do have to line it correctly uh, at the bottom of the arrow there um, on the side. Just line it up and then just slide it and it clicks into place. And now you have a fully functional, secure, enclosed hard drive. The biggest use case for the Ankmax USB-C hard drive enclosure is the fact that it could plug into my iPad. And this is the iPad Air Gen 4. And you can see that it shows up as a 500 gigabyte NVMe drive. I'm able to kind of look through my footage after a photo shoot or a video shoot. And it's better than looking through the back of a camera monitor or an LCD panel. In here, you can see the speed of it as well. So as soon as I click on it, it's very responsive. It plays a video right away, there's no lag. If I scrub through the footage, again, there's no lag. As soon as I stop, it picks up where it stopped and it keeps playing. And so again, that's a major reason why having a USB-C hard drive enclosure with the NVMe drive is great. Um, and then sometimes when I'm shooting, and especially when I'm portable on client sites, I'm shooting pictures, they want to see the pictures right away. Again, I can just quickly load it onto uh, the hard drive, show on my iPad since it's a bigger real estate for them to see it. And uh, I know clients appreciate that as well. So another thing I use NVMe hard drive for is uh, editing on the go. So you can use iMovie or LumaFusion. So once the footage is downloaded onto the Ankmax USB hard drive enclosure, I can load videos, uh, such as a video of me updating my computer, quickly loads into my iPad, into iMovie, 
and now I could do some video editing right off the hard drive enclosure, which is excellent. It's a great portable way of being productive. So before you can actually start using the drive, you do have to initialize and format it. So uh, under Windows, you go to Disk Management. Once you go to Disk Management, you locate the disk. So for me, it's Disk 9. I'm just gonna initialize the disk. And even though it's 500 gigabytes, I only have 465 usable space. And then I'm just gonna put GPT and then format it. Now it's initialized, just select right click, select new simple volume, take you to a new simple wizard. I'm gonna click next. And then I'm just gonna use the max space, which is 476 gigs. I'm gonna click next. Uh, sign a letter, it says O in this case, so I'll just click next. And then I do want to keep it as NTFS, and I'm just, I am going to change the volume name. And I suggest that you do as well, just so when you plug it in, you can recognize what the label is. I'll finish, and then it's formatting. So once it's done, it'll tell you it's been formatted. It's a healthy, basic data partition. I plugged the USB-C port into my computer and uh, just to do some benchmarking and it gave me a read speed of which is over a thousand megabytes per second and a read speed of 945 which is well below what's advertised so another example is i'm gonna copy an 11 gigabyte file over to the nvme drive and as you can see it transfers fairly quickly um so probably within about 10 seconds it copy 11 gigabytes well, over and, and then it plays very smoothly as well, as well. once it's on the nvme drive connected through usb c all right so that concludes my video of the ankmex nvme hard drive enclosure with the samsung 980 nvme hard drive if you have any questions or comments please leave it down below overall i do recommend the ankmex nvme hard drive enclosure i think this is a great tool especially if you're a youtube content creator that travels quite a bit and you want a nice, reliable way of backing up your footage uh, on location. And there's nothing wrong with it. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching. And until next time, be compatible. One of the greatest fears, um, welcome to the long Welcome to the welcome to the Long Viewer. My name is Will, where I do tech unboxing, tech reviews, and tech tutorials. It's really important for me to back up pictures and footage after I've done a shoot. And the main reason being is I've had some occasions where the memory card, after I've taken it and I have 